mucho confuso. It's been, uh, I don't know, flat tire was half eight this morning around and about. Double mirror sword. And um, yeah, so you hear the backfiring here. It's been a wet day and my bike hates the rain. The witch of the bike world. Phantom flat tire apparently. It was absolutely down as fuck this morning. Pumped it up with the foot pedal as you saw. And now it's fine. And I'm confused. And happy and scared and contemplative and just generally not nonplussed. I wish I was. But yeah, now I'm concerned. That's the word. You know it could be a faulty valve. Could be. Could be uh, a rim leak. Like I said, the reeky rim, rim, the reeky rim, the river. But for now, I'm happy. You know, uh, better the better the devil you don't know, right? Or I don't know, don't do know, right? Anyway, check the traffic out. Uh, you saw this morning they've actually opened the much coveted M6 slip road from Spaghetti Junction. Oh my god, I'm all over the place. You know, wear really tight trousers, no, they're not tight trousers, but they're tight around the top because I put a bit of timber on around the old booty. And, uh, yeah, my legs just don't want to bend anymore in these jeans. Which isn't great for the old leg dance, gear change, leg down, the hand on the brake bullshit that comes with riding a bike. But look at this traffic, it's gone! It worked! Rejoice, Birmingham, rejoice! Still very wet and greasy roads which sucks gets me right on my tit and I can't concentrate on not moving my mirrors around so much um yeah greasy roads really scare the hell out of me and like hey now I've got my speed up if them lights change to yellow a bit earlier than I expect I will go through the red because this bike ain't stopping for shit there's no brakes on the rape train oh I haven't put the phone on the cradle I have no notes I have nothing to talk about shit but I have had um, something I've wanted to talk about all day in the van, actually. Uh, vaping. It's obviously great for people who don't want to smoke anymore, or those who do. But, uh, you know, there's laws surrounding the country right now regarding the old smokies. And you're not allowed to do it in your work van. You're not allowed to do it in a car with um, young children inside. And I'm on about smoking. I'm not on about f doing it up the fanny. The alternative, I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting pulled for smoking in a van, but obviously to avoid that situation, I grabbed a vape, and there's been a few times it scared me more than any cigarette ever has, or ever will, because I've never sucked on pure burning plastic before. And I, obviously I'm going to get the vape army on this, saying exactly what the wick is, but to me, obviously I had a dry hit, they call it, when there's no juice or no flavour coming through. And, um, yeah, I did that a couple of times and it was just, like, fucking plastic smoke. Yeah, I hit that a few times and it really burned my throat out. Tasted like fucking shit. And made me literally go to the shop there and then and buy some tobacco. Because I've never had any unnecessary surprises with tobacco. I know it's going to kill me and that's, that's fine. Right, is the M6 open? M6 north and south, all open. Yes, buddy, yes. Actually, this will be awful when once everyone figures out that this junction's open. We're fucked. Because it'll be back to 2010. Or whenever, I don't think it was that long ago. 2013, maybe, when life was normal and everyone got these lanes wrong. I'm in the wrong lane now. That lane's for Slade now. It's changed. For fuck's sake. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get a hit then. Now this guy's probably in the wrong lane on my left, so I'm going to keep my eye on him. Guy on my right in the correct lane, so I've got to get ahead of the game right now. Look at this mess. North and south, ready to go. Yep, he was in the wrong lane behind me. Just saying, I rectified the problem. It's burning plastic, never good. Never, ever good. No matter what school you've been to. Man, this bike doesn't want to move. And... It felt horrible, and like, it was enough to re- you know- Oh, for fuck's sake! Come on, then! Mooyah! Um, and yeah, it made me 
want to just throw the vape thing away because I don't want that shit in my lungs as much as I do want smoke in my lungs. So I'm a bit of a hypocrite here, but we all know smoking is, it's not okay, but we know it's, it's legal, which doesn't make it fine. Um, you know, huffing on burning plastic is probably legal too. So I'm making no real points here. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh my God. Right. So the only thing that made me want to Google the repairs of everything with the vape machine I've bought, which is like, I think it was 40 pounds when I bought it. And then all the juice I've bought and extra coils, throw another 30 pound on top of that. So over time, I've probably spent 100 pound on vaping and probably the same on smoking. So I've saved no money and I've spent double. That's what's happened here. And I didn't want to throw the vape away. I would have lamped that fucker out the window, no problem. But I'm never going to throw 30 pounds out the window. So I'm not going to throw that out the window. And so I feel forced to fix it. That's that. That's, that's a zebra crossing. You all right? Friendly neighborhood bikey boy. Yes, so I, you know, I repaired it and I've used it a couple of times in the van today and no doubt I've rolled some cigarettes instead. Still, I don't feel 100% comfortable with the, the robot cigarettes yet. And um, I don't know if I'm going to carry on with it. And the sad thing is, the day it it dry hitted me. Uh, a pal of mine has just had just taken it up, and usually I'd be excited, but obviously I ripped it out of him. I was like, "No, God, if you're gonna smoke something, smoke a smoke a real cigarette, you fanny." And now I've put myself in a position of more hypocrisy if he ever sees me smoking my vape again. Oh, slippy, slippy! I hate it when the roads look like the shiny ass roads from Need for Speed Underground 2 on GameCube. There be greasy roads right there. I'm gonna test out the new slip road that's finally fucking open mate. Little bit excited in a really really sad way. That's where my life's at. Open a road. I'm all yours baby. Oh shit. Should have really bought the car. Mm. But then I couldn't film this, so... Well, I could have, but it'd be boring. You don't want to watch a man sat in a Picasso. Talking shit. Okay, is this lane north now? It is! Uh-oh! Okay, let's see how slippy and fresh this fucking road is. New paint, always good for grip. Plenty of fuel. I should really check that before I get on the motorway. Tires feeling good, but again, I can't know what's gonna happen. This is a really silly idea. But just with this slip road being open, I have saved already 10 minutes. Look at this, I haven't been on here for a long, 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 long time. I think it was uh, maybe March, and it's now. What month is it? Where am I? Oh my god! Um, it's now September, so that's a, it's a good half a year. Actually quite paranoid about my tyre. How am I supposed to know if it's going down? For fuck's sake. This goes up in my ratings the same as sinkholes and blowouts from lorries. Shit that I can't avoid but might just happen to me, it's not fair. 